happy monday welcome back to my channel today is monday monday something i'm not sure today we're going to talk about gifted kid burnout and also what it's like to create study habits as a gifted kid versus not as a gifted kid and how the american education system kind of damages your natural ability to learn how to study thank you u.s government you are so kind and helpful i grew up in connecticut and when I was in school, I was in about seventh grade, and you know, you're in like regular math at that point. I was like doing algebra, and one of my teachers had a little parent-teacher conference with my mom. He was like, hey, your kid's pretty smart. Your kid could be a computer engineer. Your kid's doing algebra way ahead of when they're supposed to be doing algebra. This was a bunch of malarkey. However, it is something that I learned like growing up that I never had to study. I was always able to just pay attention in class, do the homework, and do pretty well on exams. I think I failed like one science test when I was in fifth grade, and it was just because I wasn't paying enough attention in class. And after that, I was like, all right, I gotta start paying attention again. In eighth grade, you either get placed into regular math, pre-algebra, or algebra as an eighth grader, and I was placed in algebra, which made me feel smart, made me feel like I was ahead. Then I got to Ohio in October of my eighth grade year, and I found out other kids had already taken algebra and finished it in seventh grade. So I was actually behind. So I never really learned how to study. I was always just able to come home, do homework, and that was enough to keep me getting good grades. I was watching a different YouTube video this week. Um, something one of the YouTubers said was that being considered a gifted kid means that you have special needs. And he didn't mean special needs in the way of a mental disability, but having other needs that are abnormal that, to regular kids. If you are gifted, that means your brain is moving at such a fast pace, you have to learn in a way that's different from other children in order to keep you engaged and to keep you doing well. So. He was kind of saying that when gifted kids go home, they have to restructure everything and learn how to learn in a different way or they'll never learn how to study. And that's something that I feel like I struggled with as a kid who was smart and always told I was going to be smart and I had to do something smart with my intelligence. If you don't learn how to study as a kid, you aren't going to study when you get to college. And I never really learned how to study in high school or any time in regular school and then I got to college and I was able to kind of just coast by my first year of chemistry as a chem major then I got to ochem didn't know how to study it was too late to learn how to study and couldn't figure out synthesis problems therefore I changed my major basically what I'm saying is by teachers telling us that we are smart and we are going to do amazing things. We get set in this mindset of looking at ourselves as intelligent and holding ourselves to everybody else's expectations of us and telling ourselves we have to do something really smart and really great and really crazy and really courageous and really bold. And by getting stuck in that loop, we have to also learn how to study. If we don't learn how to study, we're not actually going to be successful in any of the very hard tasks like being a lawyer or a doctor or anything else, a scientist or a psychologist. I could go on. I just care not to. I'm just mad. I'm just having some gripes with the American government and education system put in place by our government because they are just so lovely enough to pull gifted kids apart from the regular kids. When I was in high school, we literally would take AP and honors courses because we didn't want to be in the same classes as the regular kids. Who gave us the audacity? We should really not like be told who's in what class. Like they should just put us in separate classes or maybe don't put us in separate classes. But like how we need a solution. We need a solution to this education problem because how are we ever going to get into a better place than a bunch of gifted kids ending up with burnout and overwhelming themselves and then not knowing how to maintain all the things that they're involved in because they don't know how to study and they don't know how to manage their time. And then as soon as you graduate, you don't know what you're freaking doing with your life and you can't manage anything. Like, when I got to my 9 to 5, they told me, like, I was a very quick learner and all that stuff is great. But at the end of the day, like, it wasn't engaging and stimulating enough material and, like, of a job for me to be challenged. So I got bored with it. And then once I was bored, I was no longer interested in being there. And I was like, this is depressing. And so 
Personally, I would just like to know how many current day YouTubers were labeled as gifted kids, how many current day YouTubers have ADHD and or ADD and can't find, can't help but huh, can't stop themselves from talking to a camera at every minor inconvenience because it's easier than talking to people. But Jackie, stop psychoanalyzing yourself and just have fun for a minute. Thank you for listening to my rant about gifted kid burnout and not knowing how to study. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I like replying to comments. I like hearing what you have to say. Give me some feedback. And new videos every Monday and Thursday. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Love you long time. Bye. Mwah.